speaking of undisputed champions, uh, Josh Taylor, well, he was just stripped of the WBA title, mm-hmm. and now he is supposed to. He was supposed to move up to 147, but for uh-huh. right now, from what I'm hearing, is that he's going to stay at 140, and he's going to. Uh, but Teofimo Lopez is not in the picture for fighting for those titles. What do you think they do? Where do you think that that goes, 140? And how does Tank fit into that? For 140? Mm-hmm. Now, well, my goal is to have Richardson Hitchens fight for one of those titles. Okay. That, that's, that's my goal is for Richardson Hitchens. Okay. Okay. He, he's a tremendous young fighter. He is. T- tremendous young fighter. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and that's, that's our goal is for, to put him in that situation. Gotcha. You, you know what I mean? Because he... He's grinding and getting his way, get, getting the necessary experience. And if he continues to listen, then he's going to be in the best situation to grab one of them titles. Or all of them. <laughs> and just my last question, just seeing that for your career, you've been watching all the great sets, the welterweight division, and currently you're fighting for What's your thoughts on Brown? Oh, my God. What? You talking about, you talking about a beast? And then again, you know, people want to criticize him. Oh, you're not fighting nobody. Nah, nah, nah. Trust and believe. Boots is the real deal. Boots is the real deal. I can recall, it probably was, it was a little while ago. A little while ago. I got a phone call, and, and, and I'm sharing something with you. Floyd was like, who the f*** is this Boots guy? He said, that motherfucker can fight his ass off. He right now one of the best fighters in the world. Without a belt. Without a belt. Yeah, because everybody determines that the belt. Yes, that's the, 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 the highest goal that you can achieve is become a champion. But that necessarily don't mean that until you match up with somebody else. You know, it could have been the guy you matched up with. That you, but the guy who's able to hold on to that hardware. You, you know what I mean? Again, that's the guy that has continued. Night in and night out proves that he's better than every guy in his house. He's saying, you know, without a doubt. Boy called me and he was like, yo, he was like, he just watched him fight. He was like, who the f is this guy's boots is? I said, bro, I've been telling you about him. Been telling you about him. I'm telling you about him. Yeah, he's, 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 again, he's a tremendous fighter. Uh, he's, his dad, can't say nothing, enough about his dad. Great guy. You know, he comes from a fighting family. Um, what I love about Boots is that, again, he's, he's, he's again, my kind of guy. Again, he, he, his work ethic is crazy. Crazy. He don't drink, he don't smoke. His focus is this shit right here. He's not chasing the rock. He focuses on his career. And again, I would love to work with a guy like him. Love to work with a guy like him. Because I tell you, if you sign, if Boots in his time for making a promotion, I guarantee you that the fights that he's looking to get, he'll get those fights, and he'll make a make a bunch of fucking money doing it too. Hey, appreciate that a lot. All right. Um, but we we're forgetting about we we. we uh, Boost the what kid Boost Ennis? Drawn in. Yeah. Hell of a fighter. We don't talk about him. Uh, you know, Errol Spence go through some ups and downs throughout life, tragedies, and he, he still get through it all. And then a guy go out and, and uh, uh, Terrence Crawford, he go out there and do what he's supposed to do. Of course, he look good. But we we forget about these guys. We we don't talk about the, we Tank go out there and do what he got to do, and we we forget about these guys. And I'm not going to forget about my people, fighters that don't get their credit. You know, um, I just, I'm just going to stand behind my people through it all. What fighter do you believe? They're going to rate Canelo up there, and I just feel like Canelo is one of the guys. He's one of the top guys up there, but he's not the only guy. This is not cool. Even though Spence went through what he went through, eh, eh, eh. And Crawford, because um, Crawford and Spence haven't fought one another, doesn't mean this guy, these guys should be rated up there. Every time they, they went out there, they done what they had, they had to do. There's so many young fighters that's up and coming that we don't talk about. And I'm just, I'll come on record and say these guys 
that kid in his boo, don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. I'm, I tell these fighters, don't. Hell of a fighter. And even Benavidez should be ranked in the top pound for pound. You know? But what we don't talk about is, you know, we, oh, Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Steroids, steroids, steroids. Y'all don't talk about that. <laughs> so we don't know. We really don't know all the fighters he beat. And he was going, what? What he could have been not clean in a lot of fights. You think he was clean the night he fought? I, I, I'm saying I don't know. I don't know. That's y'all. Uh, uh, just Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Come on, man, this kid was it's a cakewalk. Get easy. You named five fighters right there.